Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber Lodge and I am back in beautiful Colorado. And I have a video for you that I think you've been waiting to see, which is, does it make sense to put a micro compensator on the end of the barrel of your everyday carry pistol? Let's find out. So this is one of my everyday carry pistols. This has a threaded barrel as well as the micro compensator attached to the end of that threaded barrel. Above it is the actual barrel that came with the pistol. You'll notice two things that are majorly different about this barrel is that one, it's a lot shorter than the actual threaded barrel. And then there's no compensator. Well, what happens when you add the threaded barrel is that the threading has to stick beyond the end of the actual slide so that you can thread either a compensator or let's say a sound suppression device onto that barrel. Now, with the micro compensator, you'll notice there are what is called porting on the top and the sides, but none on the bottom. Now, the reason behind this is so that as the gases expel out the end of the barrel, they're going to get caught in this porting and shoot upwards and to the sides to help stabilize it, but also not out the bottom because if you were to have the gases expelling out the bottom, that would tend to make the barrel want to rise. And by only having the gases come out the top and the sides, that's actually going to help push the barrel down and keep the barrel from wanting to rise up. Additionally, having the side ports is going to help mitigate some of the felt recoil because it's going to be expelling the gases out the sides and helping keep that pistol in more of a stationary position instead of just having all of the gases explode out the end of the barrel in one direction, driving the pistol back towards your hand. And as I said, theoretically, this should help eliminate felt recoil and also muzzle rise. So, I'm going to take this pistol to the range and I'm going to test out the theory behind this micro compensator to see how good of a job it actually does at mitigating that felt recoil and keeping that pistol flatter with less muzzle rise. Five yards, we have the compensated barrel. No need to draw, this is just to see how quick we can put it into zone A. Three, two, one. All right, let's go have a look. First shot, second, third, fourth, and fifth. All kill shots rather quickly. Or now we have the factory OEM barrel non-compensated. Three, two, one. All right, so, so this hole one, we got two, three, four, and five, all inside the body, but definitely a larger group outside of the vital organs. We had two shots.
So one of the things that I'm noticing is that I don't have any Loctite on the barrel yet. The manufacturer of this microcompensator actually recommends that you apply something like Loctite 242 to the threads on the end of the barrel before you screw on the microcompensator. And I can tighten this so it's even, but without the Loctite, I noticed that the compensator wants to unscrew itself ever so slightly after each magazine. And oof, it gets very hot, which means that if you're practicing with this, you have to be very aware of the heat on this compensator before you shove it in your pants inside of your appendix carry. Otherwise, you're gonna have some fried eggs. <laughs> Once this Loctite cures, it's not impossible to remove the actual compensator, but it's gonna become difficult. And the removal process is kind of wild. Removal. For ease of removal, place the slide and barrel in soft vice jaws. If applied, follow the instructions to loosen, dissolve the specific thread locking compound used. A solid round body steel tool, for example, small screwdriver, can be inserted completely through the forward ports of the comp to assist with removal. So that's a lot of work in order to actually remove this microcompensator so you can thoroughly clean the inside of your slide and your barrel. For my final thoughts, is it worth or should you put a microcompensator on the end of your everyday carry pistol barrel. From the results that we saw in this video, I would say it made me a better shooter. And not only did it make me a better shooter, but I was faster on my time and also more accurate with my grouping. So I would say yes. Now, my factory barrel did a great job. There was nothing wrong with the performance that I had with this. But if I'm strictly going off of the results of what could I shoot faster and more accurately than the micro compensator easily was the winner. Now, having to apply Loctite or another sort of thread fastening liquid to the threads on your threaded barrel to attach the microcompensator. It will create issues as far as cleaning your pistol with routine maintenance. And I'm going to attach this comp with some Loctite and I will keep you posted. So as always, hit that like, leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you can see what happens with this EDC pistol as I go through day-to-day -day operations and cleaning with a micro compensator attached to the end of the barrel. And as always, Peace.